But, you know, luckily, anyway, getting back to the point I was trying to make. See, I don't think I know a spot where we might be able to acquire, you know, an airplane and maybe even possibly acquire a pilot. I mean, if the pilot's not infected. Yes, that's true. Like I said, (laughs) possibly, because we don't know. I mean, I would prefer having somebody that could land a plane Uh, with us. It's very true. It's very true. I agree. But, okay, now, just for... Also, this this would also be a much smaller airport, so the range on said plane would not be that good. But I believe it would be enough if it was fully fueled to at least get us to Canada. Right. So, that's... As long as this doesn't happen in the summer, that's already slowing the zombies down by, like, you know, right, fifty percent, right. So, progress. Let's say, for instance, we couldn't acquire an aircraft. What do you do then? If you can't acquire an aircraft, <sighs> it's going to be difficult because you know the roads are going to be blocked up. Oh yeah. Um, you're not going very fast in a in a a, a regular car. Nope. Um, you're, I think at that point, your probably best chance is to bunker, to bunker down. Bunker? Really? I mean, um, I mean, if you can't, if you can't get in a plane, you're already there at the airport, you might as well ch- turn the hangers into like a bunker. Really? That's what you're doing. You're hunkering down at that point in time? I mean, you. What are you gonna do? Get in a car and find out that you're gonna be stuck out in the open at a, on an interstate trying to get from one place to another. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll go for a boat. All right. Look. I I guarantee. Worst, you, worst case scenario, yeah. you know. Obviously. Uh, I guarantee you. You're out on the ocean. Right? As long as these, you know, sons of bitches can't swim. Right. Anybody that has a boat. You got the food and the, the water. Boat. Yeah. I mean, granted, it's only gonna last X amount of time, but. Yeah. Any anybody that lives near the water has already had that idea, also. So I, you might get there and find out there's no boats. No boats. That's true. That I mean, it's the risk. I think is worth taking. Right. In my personal opinion, I think you'd be better off than just hunkering down in an aircraft hangar somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I, I to be honest with you, the only good situation is that you got a plane. Every other situation is yeah. a bad situation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I kind of have to agree with that. <laughs> and, and at the same point in time, you know, have boats eat fuel, so that's true. That's the. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but either way, if you could just make progress up to you know colder, colder regions, that will increase so, your survival chances. So a sailboat would probably be better than Ooh, a sailboat. That's a good one. Yeah. And you know what? Most people wouldn't even think about a sailboat. I actually know how to sail. Do you know that? Do you? Yeah. Right. I know somebody with a sailboat okay. that lives across from my parents' house. I don't know if they so that was years ago. I don't know if they still live there. How big is the sailboat, Doug? Your house? It was a pretty decent sized sailboat. I'd have to say it's enough to fit me, you, your entire family on. Yeah. Okay. It was a de- it was a pretty big sailboat. Obviously. Was it? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I've been over to your house many times. I never saw a sailboat. It's like across the street. It's a scooter. <laughs> a sailboat is a scooter, idiot. <laughs> okay, so we explored the plane option. We explored the um, boat option. We we briefly touched that we both believe that you know the highway, you know, you know vehicle option, not going to work out too well. Right. I mean, you would have to know some extreme bucket back roads to be able to make it, or have a monster truck. <laughs> or, or do that. At the same point in time, I would have to assume that any major bridge crossing would be right, insanely, insanely backed up. Not to mention that that would be the worst possible place to be because of the choke point. That's true. Very true. Hundred percent agree. Oh, so uh, let's see. We touched on. Any other parts of the uh, game plan that you can think of? Okay, think about this. If we do actually get a plane, where are you going to
going to stop to refuel at. You said I was going to refuel. I'm just going to bring it until I run out of fuel and I'm going to land it somewhere. And then, and then pump it the rest of the way? And then, and then step two. I mean, if you find if you see an airport all along the way, I mean, that, that'd that be preferable and you could land there. I um, mean, you played Microsoft Flight Center there. You should know where most of them are. Well, I mean, I've only, I only tried to land at two different airports <laughs> unsuccessfully. <laughs> Okay, successfully one time out of, out of the 20 times I tried. Fair enough. I, I am not a plane lander. I can fly it pretty good. <laughs> That's why if we get in a plane, no pilot, you're not flying. No, I don't have a problem flying. I have a problem landing. Nah. <laughs> That's where I got a big problem. <laughs> what, what, landing? No. <laughs> With you flying. No. I'm telling you, I can fly a plane. I just can't land the plane. Yeah, just just accept the fact that you're going to be the co-pilot. I mean, I don't mind. That's fine. <laughs> um, so, uh, um, any any other any any other way that you know? You see, I actually, dude, thinking about it now, I think sailboat is the way to go. Now that you sailboat said that, sailboat could be the way as long as you have some fish trots, you can fish food and stuff like that. Right. I, I don't know where you're going to get water. Cause you well, at that point in time, though, if you did go like with the sailboat, you would need um, water purification tablets. Right, but it's salt water. So right, it's but not you, just can, water you, can, you can actually take the salinity out of the salt water. There is a process to do that. I, think, I, think I don't, like I don't actually know, but boiling. there is a process. I don't think it comes out boiling. Well, well no. you have to, you have, the water has to, you have to boil the water and it has to go into a tube, and it has to come out and drip down into the other side, so that the salt stays Stop, in the okay. pot, and yeah. then the water comes over to the other side. That, well, at that point in time, it'd just be the water vapor, right? You know, like basically condensation, right? So I mean, like I said, there is a way yeah. that you could turn the salt water into drinking water, but it, also, it would be it would be a long and arduous process. The the one thing, yeah, you have to you have to have heat in order to, to boil the water. So you have to have either some kind of fuel or some kind of wood. Yeah. Well, at the same point in time, if you're sailing around, you can just stop on, like, islands. Right. <coughs> as long as they're uninhabited. Yeah. Nobody there. Yeah. You don't have true. to worry about zombies being there. Find a lot of different things to burn, too. That's true. A lot of different <laughs> All right, so uh, general general overall synopsis. Um, do you think we make it to the quote quote safe zone in this particular scenario? I'm going to try. Right, of course we're going to try, but I mean, do you think it's actually feasible? I mean, if anybody can do it, why not us? You know what I mean? That's where I'm at. I don't think anyone else saves a chance. I'm surviving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there you go. There is our next um, <laughs> iteration of the In the Event of series, A Zombie Apocalypse. I'm, of course, Greg Guy. Joined here by Mr. Casey. That was a uh, very, very... Very interesting, very, very more impromptu because you didn't come with like three pages of notes this time. Right. So I, I actually think that that was more fun. We, um, and also I, I changed up, you know, from what we discussed, uh, you know, slightly, not, not very much a whole lot, but right. still a little bit. But, uh, I, I, I honestly, in, in my personal opinion, I think we make it. I think we make it. I know I can fly a plane. But can you land the plane? I can land it too. Alright. We're, we're counting on that. I think we're good. All right. If there's a plane at the airport. But anyway. I can tell you one thing. If I was flying it, we definitely hit the ground. One way or another. <laughs> That's why you're not. Right. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this little bit of content, you know, let us know down in the comments below. And, of course, as always, remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that will be episode 14 of the Bankcast. And now, um, you know, from your recommendation, we're going to go out and we're going to enjoy some Mexican food. So ladies and gentlemen out there watching, have a lovely day.